Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. My name is Harmon. Today's video is all about 15 year old Joseph Didier, who was unfortunately murdered. We're gonna get into all the details and I'm here checking out his grave. Uh, it's located at Calvary Cemetery. This is in Winnebago, Illinois. Now, interesting fact is the last video you guys saw, the Pete Nelson family murders, the Nelson kids are all buried here in the same cemetery uh, that this 15 year old Joseph Didier is buried at. So 15 year old Joseph Didier was reported missing around 6.30 a.m. March 4th, 1975. He was last seen delivering newspapers for his newspaper route in the 1900 block of Fulton Avenue. Now, police, of course, did their best investigating, trying to find out what happened to young Joseph. Now, unfortunately, about 11 days later, March 15th, Joseph's body was found at a remote Boy Scout campground. His body was found uh, with no clothes on. So police discovered pretty quickly that Joseph had unfortunately been sexually assaulted and strangled to death. As this was March in Illinois, everything was pretty frozen over. And so Joseph's body was actually frozen, completely solid. Now, I just wanted to quickly apologize about the highway noise you can hear in the background. The cemetery it sits right up against this pretty busy highway. And so I've tried my best to kind of go far away from the highway, hopefully it's not that bad. A guy by the name of Robert Lower, who was 36 years old at the time, who was a trucker, he made daily trips between Rockford, Illinois and Stockton. And again, Rockford is where Joseph was abducted from. Now the details surrounding Joseph's death, it's actually a lot more terrible and gruesome than I originally thought. So after Robert Lower was arrested for the murder of Joseph, he told police in a written confession that he had tied a rope to a small bench on which he forced Joseph to stand on. He put the rope around Joseph's neck and kicked the bench over essentially forcing Joseph to be hung to death. Joseph had pleaded with Robert and said, please don't hang me. Robert's trial commenced and he was found guilty of Joseph's sexual assault and murder. And he was sentenced to a range of 100 to 150 years in prison. Robert Lower told a prison review board member, quote, I truly regret that I took his life, referring to, of course, Joseph. He says, I was an individual who was messed up, screwed up, whatever you wanna call it. He continues on by saying, I'm not that same person anymore. Back then, I was a cold-hearted, no good person. Robert explained that again on the morning of March 4th, he said that he couldn't sleep and so he got dressed and just went driving around looking for a paper boy. He says that he found Joseph delivering newspapers. Robert's past was filled with tons of sexual assaults of teen boys. Robert was arrested for an earlier kidnapping of a different teenage boy 
while serving in the Air Force. Robert told the review board that the authorities at the time agreed not to prosecute him as long as his parents, referring to the, the young boy who he sexually assaulted, he said as long as his parents retrieve him and return him back. Seven years later, Robert was arrested for indecent liberties with a minor. However, he claims that that particular incident was just him hugging this young boy. Now, Robert had been up for parole at least 17 times. However, he was denied in each case. Robert eventually died in prison. Now, from all the articles that I read, none of them give any indication on to how Robert was discovered by police and how they knew that he was the one who killed Joseph. I can make a guess and say that they found some sort of DNA at the crime scene or on Joseph's body. But it is interesting that I looked up at least four or five articles and not one of them gives an indication on to how police zeroed in on him as a suspect. What makes this case even that much more tragic is the fact that Joseph was doing something that pretty much every teenage boy was doing, especially back in the 70s and 80s. Um, paper boys were a super common thing. And so, you know, no one would have suspected that Joseph would have been in any danger as he was just delivering newspapers on the road near his house. Again, it's just sad what happened to Joseph. His last moments on earth pleading with Robert to not hang him. I mean, can you imagine pleading with your killer? Please don't hang me. Please don't kill me. Now it looks like more of his family members are buried pretty close to him. I'm taking a guess and I, I think this must be Joseph's mom. And looks like his dad is still alive which is cool, but uh, must be so, so hard for him now that his wife's gone. And of course, now that he lost Joseph 40 some odd years ago. Anytime a young boy or girl loses their life, especially in such a heinous way, um, it just, it, it hurts my heart. And I'm sure it hurts your guys' hearts too. Um, anyway guys, rest in peace to young Joseph. But uh, anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for continuing to watch my videos, all of you long supporters of mine. Anyway, if you like this kind of content and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so, it's always free. But anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.